participation. <clears throat> if we ask the wrong question, we definitely end up with the wrong answer. Both politics, policies and work, work in this, what is called social field, is again and again concerned with participation asking for, for participation, suggesting strategies. Participation is a key word. And nevertheless, speaking again and again about it, we are apparently stuck. We cannot really move forward. We have little projects, good projects, valuable projects, but we even may us in those cases, if it is about participation, of course, there are experts, strategists, who are working out exactly this strategies. But then again, it is difficult to move beyond individual projects. Valuable and ex uh, successful projects are usually confirming the rule. Participation is not possible. And one may cynically suggest <coughs> participation is actually not wanted. Even if people suggest strategies, they are not really interested in moving on with strategies, with real participation. We find various examples following the same patterns. The state arguing against smoking and enjoying the taxes. The public, meaning the government, arguing in favor of public transport, against private transport, again benefiting from the taxes paid on fuel. <coughs> there are many other and similar pro uh, cases where we can say this is a typical strategy. If we succeed, we actually end up without being in, uh, having income, without having jobs, without having a justification for our engagement. It is about looking at rules and saying the projects, the successful projects, are confirming the rules means that we have to look at the ambiguity of rule. It is something of a regularity that comes up again and again. It's valuable. It has um, the function of orientation. But at the same time, it is about ruling. And ruling has the different dimensions of power, of pouvoir, being able to do something. The machen, in Germany, in German, the macht and machen. The pouvoir, I can do something, I'm able to do something, but I have as well the power of controlling something. <coughs> and this ambiguity is, I think, something that has to be looked at in more serious terms when we are looking at strategies of participation. It is looking at the structures and at the processes that are dominant in shaping society. And there we come to the rules that are not given as a matter of the people living, constituting the society but they are made in 
the interest of those who are constituting the society. Meaning constituting the society in terms of determining the interest, the strong interests, the major interests that are then shaping especially the productive processes, the economy, the accumulation of regime, the exact way of making project, uh, profits, of accumulating capital. And capital here understood in a wide sense, not in the capitalist sense only, but in the sense of the accumulation of wealth of a nation. Yes, there is a little bit Smith in it, but there is much more in it. And this is about the Marxist approach of the socialization of the means of production. And the means of production is here not only in the strict sense the means of production in the economic, uh, with its economic aspects, but it is the means of production in terms of daily life. The production of daily life as a matter of participation. And there we are at the core of the topic, <clears throat> again, that we are not talking about strategies of taking part of something that is giving, but being part of establishing something, being part of establishing a society. The processes of ruling, of defining the rules of the game as a matter not of executing, executing a given law, but as permanently constituting new laws that are defining new societies. So in this sense it is not about government, but indeed about governance. Even if I am well aware of the problematic of this term. <coughs> governing is by and large the techni technical dimension of <coughs> setting rules that others have to obey. If we talk about governance, it is something that we are talking about the defining of a society, the transformation of the given ways of socialization, of the way of how we produce and reproduce our daily life, redefining it in the interest of actually this process of production, not in terms of the definition given by profit making, by exer uh, external uh, goals, but by something that is inherent to the process of uh, production. We may say that a Machiavellian democracy is a kind of oxymoron. It is something that cannot exist because it is a contradiction in its own terms. But nevertheless, this is what we are permanently uh, becoming or, or getting presented. It is the idea of take part in our society. Imagine that it is your society. Instead of saying, listen, this is not your society. If you want that it is your society, you have to look for a different approach. It is not taking part in society, but being part of making society, of constituting a new society that follows its own rules. And these rules are not the reproduction and production, production and reproduction of the system, but they are the production and reproduction of the system in its own interest, in the interest of those who are actually socializing within this society, that are establishing society. It is not by chance that we talk about constitutions, at least giving us the illusion of constituting a people, 
a polity that is ruling over itself. We can look at different dimensions where we currently face these conflicts <coughs> of a suggested participation that is completely failing. We, are, we, we have, for instance, uh, when it comes to accommodation, movements of socialization. In Germany, in particular in Berlin, it is Article 15 of the uh, Basic Law, suggesting it is not the state taking over, but it is actually the people taking over the property or the accommodation, the houses made property of the people who are living there. The cooperative movement, <clears throat> in many cases very successful, up to a certain point, is exactly this. It is our accommodation, it is our production, it is our consumption. We are not only pooling resources, but we are living together. This is part of participation in this new way. Another way of participation is often about externalization. Externalization of a society, meaning exactly what Margaret Thatcher said as well, although in a normative sense asking for it, but there is no such thing as society. There is no such thing as society because we killed that society. We meaning the existing, the dominant way of uh, uh, mode of uh, the dominant accumulation of red, and with it the dominant uh, mode of regulation. All the laws in place privatizing risks, exactly killing society where it existed before, inserting or supplementing it by replacing it by competition. You are responsible for what you are doing and for nothing else. Try to make the most out of it. And a third point I want to call Vaticanization of society. In a recent letter, the Pope Emeritus Benedetto was in a letter publicly suggesting, yes, there had been very bad things happening, and nevertheless, it's not my fault, even if it had been in or under his responsibility, even if he knew about it. He said, even we may believe him, I'm really very sorry about what happened but he did not accept the responsibility. And this is a typical pattern we see in the Catholic Church, we see in many congregations, faith congregations, where it is said, yes, things happen, but we just have to do our best. The same pattern of externalization of society. We as individuals have to do our best and we have to be good people. Amen. Now, this trinity of <coughs> uh, Vaticanization, externalization, and uh, the loss of property, or the reappropriation of property, it's a trinity <coughs> that is definitely not a holy trinity. It is not by chance, by accident, but even if we may add many others. The point in question is another one. It is about the trinity that is underlying as a matter of a specific form of socialization. Of socialization that is geared towards isolation, externalization. Participation is something that is external then. 
we reappropriate something in a technical way, we take part, we take something back that we own. Instead of turning the other way around towards the, the, the topic and saying participation is not simply taking something past capita, but it is giving something, being part of something. This is the crucial point, I think, where we have to think or where we have to work on what society do we want to be part of. In philosophy, we have the term of elements, of elementary forms. And these elementary forms are what we have to look for. It is being element and maintaining the own characteristics and being as such a germ for the larger and for a new entity. The process of germination, establishing something new without that I would lose identity, my own identity, but by enriching, joining this community, joining this process, not taking part but giving part, that we can have successful projects. This is, of course, something that contradicts the common and dominant forms of social problems and their solutions. Mm -hmm.